A pair of AL clubs. We've got the Chicago White Sox taking on the Minnesota Twins in Minnesota Target Field. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. He is a winner, and he is a stalwart on this staff. Today, we'll watch Gavin Floyd. At Let's uh, show you the lineup for the White Sox. Play ball! Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. It's Minnesota. The air hits this one on the ground. Number one. He's out. One away. And we'll take a quick look at the Twins and how they'll be out there positionally on defense. John, uh, who's a factor for them? Well, you always look at Joe Maurer, a guy that can handle a pitching staff. He's great at calling a game. Very good throwing arm. He can shut down the running game. We know about his offense, but people overlook the fact that he's one of the better defensive catchers in baseball. Oh. Swung on and fouled away. On the way. 0-1 pitch is a change, swung on and missed, 0-2. Well, that change up down of the way is so tough. It's really one of those ones, all you can do is spoil it and hope to get the next one. You're Swing and a miss, struck him out with a breaking ball, two down. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers love that. Those are short at-bats. You get it done in a hurry. Here's Paul Canerco with two away. That misses inside, 1-0. Well, he starts that two-seam fastball in the inside corner, but it just runs in on the hands just off the plate. Ball. That's outside, ball two. Now the 2-0. And that one off the bat of Canerco. This one to Kadire. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Good defensive half inning there. No hit. And Gavin Floyd is the pitcher. He gets settled in for Chicago. Steve, he's facing the Minnesota lineup today. Tell us his thoughts. Well, Gavin Floyd has an exceptional breaking ball. That 12-6 oh. break, he can throw it at the top of the zone and get it to bounce down in the dirt. But to, for that to be effective, he has to command his fastball and use a changeup to keep the hitters off balance. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. He's going to try to stretch it. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. Got a chance now to see the lineup for the Twins. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Uh, one of the toughest outs in baseball is Joe Maurer. We know about the high average. He's incorporated now power into his game, and to me, that makes him a double threat. You throw the ball over the plate because you know he won't swing at bad pitches. He's going to make you pay with the long ball. Here's the pitch. Curve ball taken for a strike on the counts 0 and 2. Well, he just fooled the hitter right here. He was thinking hard. He got soft and with great break on that curve ball. He couldn't. He's running. You're Fastball up. in there. Called third strike. One out. Safe. He gets in there. Now on to second. Safe there. Trying for that double play, but they'll get the lead runner. Now a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. And how do you like who's out there, John? Well, Alex Rios is expected to cover a lot of ground in the outfield. He has those long strides because of those long legs he possesses. And boy, when he gets it going, he can shut down a lot of balls in the gap. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. With that good running action on that cut fastball, you think you're going to center at the heart of the plate. It just moves off to the corner. He didn't offer. The pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Rios will field. Able to glide. Runner on his way to third. And mark your calendars. This Friday, we'll see Adrian Gonzalez and the Boston Red Sox as they take the trip to Tampa Bay to face the Rays. Game gets underway 7 o'clock Eastern. Really looking forward to calling that game. It's got a chance to be a very interesting matchup between those two teams. Floyd gets one in there. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Good patience as Justin Morneau lets it go by for a ball to even the count. Career average, 276 against the White Sox. Here's the 1-1 pitch. 
Well, that's cut out and missed. One and two. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Good patience as Justin Morneau lets it go by for a ball to even the count. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. There's a swing towards the hole. Morrow will grab this one, and that will retire the side. 